Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to my first ride review of the TVS Radeon. This is another no-nonsense hardcore commuter bike coming from the house of TVS. I use the word another because we already have the Star City Plus and Victor, both of which are 110cc commuters from TVS already competing with other rivals in the segment. But pricing wise, the Victor is priced slightly higher. So I guess with the Radeon, TVS is targeting the hero splendor market, which has obviously been ruling the sales charts since its very inception. So does the Radeon have what it takes to jump on stage and grab everyone's attention? Let's find out. Design wise, the formula is simple and straightforward, a simple, elegant and typical executive commuter design, but this is perfectly complemented by the top notch build quality that has kind of become a standard thing with almost all their recent launches. I love the way the black color looks. I personally feel this one looks best among all the colors offered. For a glimpse of other color variants, you can watch my launch event video and you'll find the link in the description portion below. Talking about the design, first of all, the bike gets an impact resistant design to withstand heavy duty usage. The bike gets a full metal body that is strong and durable. Up front, we get a good looking headlamp. I particularly like the chrome surround given to the headlamp and also the LED position light that comes on as soon as you turn on the ignition. Trust me guys, for the segment that this bike finds itself in, it is indeed beautifully made. I also like the ribbed thigh pads given on the tank that add a retro feel to the bike. The tank is neatly laid out. The body graphics look striking and fresh. The side and rear panels fall perfectly into place. The tail lamp completes a very sensible, simplistic yet soothing design that looks proportionate and well put together and looks appealing from any angle that you choose to look at it from. Other elegant touches include the brown colored seat which further enhances the retro look of the bike. The full chrome heat shield for the exhaust adds a touch of class and makes the bike look more premium than its other counterparts in the same segment. Talking about the instrument panel, we have the retro classic theme running here as well with a twin dial full analog layout. We get a speedometer, odometer and a fuel gauge. The switch gear is of good quality, again it has to be the best in segment. Now I don't know if you all remember, but this is the same unit that we used to get with the Phoenix 125. We even get a high beam flasher which is great, but we don't get an engine kill switch. The bike also gets larger 18 inch wheels at both ends to offer better stability and we get block pattern tires such that the bike can handle different road conditions that one might encounter in rural areas. Another good thing is that the tires are tubeless. Now TVS also claimed that the bike gets highest ground clearance of 180mm when compared to 159mm of the Splendor Plus and also longest wheelbase of 1265mm compared to 1230mm of the Splendor Plus. The long wheelbase results in offering better high speed stability while the higher ground clearance helps the bike tackle different terrains in rural areas. Apart from this, other utility features include a USB charging port which is quite a unique feature to have as a commuter. We also get a lady pillion grab rail and a hook included as standard that would help us carry bags and baggages. We then get a carrier rack at the back to load the bike to its capacity. So in all ways the Radeon comes well equipped for smart as well as heavy duty usage. Then we also get an all gear self start feature which adds on to the convenience. Now there are some bikes which refuse to start unless you shift to neutral. But with the Radeon even if you are in the first or second gear you can start the bike and make a move on. Talking about the engine specs, powering the Radeon is a 109.7cc Dura Life engine that puts out 8.4 PS of max power at 7000 rpm and 8.7 newton meters of max torque at 5000 rpm we get a four speed gearbox so you can notice that the radeon puts out just a wee bit of more power than the splendor at 8.4 ps compared to 8.36 ps of the splendor and it puts out more torque as well at 8.7 newton meters compared to 8.05 newton meters of the splendor now taking the bike out for a ride the bike offers a nice and pliant ride quality good stability great refinement and amazing comfort so the Radeon ticks all the right boxes to qualify as one of the best commuters in its segment in all aspects. What's really worth mentioning is the nice and long and spacious seat that comes well cushioned to offer superb comfort. The shocks are ideally damped to offer good ride quality across various types of terrains. The engine is nice and refined. The power delivery is nice and linear. Gear shifts happen effortlessly thanks to the heel and toe shifter. Overall, the kind of ride feel that the Radeon offers is definitely ahead of its class. 
Talking about the brakes, we get drum brakes at both ends, but we have TVS's patented SBT or sync brake technology being offered in this bike. Now this works just like Honda's combi brake system, which means even if you apply only the rear brake, the system engages the front brake automatically such that the bike doesn't skid and it comes to a standstill in a more controlled manner. You can see here that I'm testing out this feature by applying only the rear brake and the system works flawlessly by distributing the brake force evenly to both the wheels and brings the bike to a standstill in a controlled manner. For a bike in this segment, SBT or sync brake technology is a very good feature to have on board and the overall braking performance is also more than satisfactory. Further enhancing the safety on board is a side stand indicator with a beeper which can end up being a life saving feature. We also get unbreakable turn indicators which is good to have on board especially when you're commuting daily in horrible city traffic. Plus the bike also gets Dura grip tires which TVS claim offers enhanced road grip and interestingly also improves fuel efficiency. Now talking about fuel efficiency, the mileage claim is 69.3 kmpl and I'm sure the bike will offer at least 65 kmpl in real world conditions. Price at showroom Delhi is 48,400 which makes the Radeon significantly cheaper than the Splendor Plus. To know the exact on-road price here in Hyderabad, you can call the number appearing on the screen currently. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.